Hey guys, Shane here. <laughs> Talking Welcome about the theology yeah. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Shane and Phil. <laughs> so glad you came to join us to learn about <clears throat> theology today. And, and uh, it's a great place to be. Yeah, just to learn about that. <laughs> this, this is right a, place. This is my dear friend Phil. Um, we're uh, just asking, doing some worship talk here today. We're at the Linger yeah. Conference, and he uh, swooped into our little room. And uh, welcome, Phil. <laughs> it's good to have you. I can't look at you. I'm going to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got it out. Okay. Good to be here, too. So I have a question. Yeah. Uh, first thing that came to my mind is uh, you're about to lead worship for us. And uh, I've always been taken by, uh, you know, um, you know, it's like a person who has several records worth of content and then several records worth of content that you've never put on records um, as far as songs. And uh, like you come into a place and you might play two of your songs out of 10 sometimes. If I'm leading just there to serve the moment and yeah. whatever songs are going to work yeah. best. Speak to that. I mean, that I, I just love how like loosely you've modeled like holding on to mm. this is my thing and I need to get do my songs and and like just I don't know if you can just speak into that as 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 people are putting sets together as they're yeah. um, writing songs or choosing songs of like what goes through your mind when you're like okay I'm coming in, I'm coming into my church or I'm coming into a place and I want just want to serve folks and what yeah you- well I think he just the last thing you just said that word serve is something I've been learning a lot about um, even the last couple of years uh, I, I regularly led worship at a church when I was in high school, and then about 12 years went by where I was touring almost all the yeah. time. I wasn't at one place normally or regularly. And then just about a year and a half ago, I started leading worship regularly again, a couple times a month at a church called Harvest Christian Fellowship in Southern California. And there's been something uh, so life-giving and grounding to mm-hmm. that. Um, and it's even with this new record I've been writing and actually mixing at this moment. It might be out by the time someone's watching this, but... Um, it's it's really shaped a lot of um, not the songs themselves, but the vision of where I want the record to go. Um, because I'm learning more than ever, and like you said, like, how do you serve that moment or whatever, however you you, you said it? Um, it's really in that word of, of with a worship leader. I'm finding and I've found out. And I think you know is is less of an artist than they are a servant. Yeah, you know it's 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 interesting because anytime um, a musician picks up and and wants to write a song, almost every time. You're trying to like, think, what's my voice? What's my expression? What do mm-hmm. I have on my heart? And those are good, good questions to ask. Yeah. And and they're not. And some people are called to do that. Be poets and express life. And even as Christians, and you do it. You're one of my favorites in like mm-hmm. expressing your heart in a poetic way. Um, but when it comes to like, uh, I want to write a song for my church. You kind of you go from Shane or Phil the artist or you guys the artist into now I'm now I'm going to serve. I'm going to serve my community. I'm going to ask God what what is what is God doing in our church now? What is what is the what's on the pastor's heart and the pastor's vision for this year and this season and this series that he's going through? Like what what is God speaking to our church now? And what what is what is the language that kind of comes alongside of that that all of us can sing together? And and so you start thinking of these songs you're writing and the sets you put together. If you're not even a songwriter, you're just a worship leader. You start thinking about the sets you put together and what the band plays and even your countenance on stage and what your face looks like when you're mm-hmm. saying "Blessed be your name," you know, it's like it's all going from an expression no longer of us to like, okay, what is the way I? How can I serve this moment the best to accomplish the goal? And I think you know you could probably word the goal in different ways for every worship leader, but ultimately, I think the goal is to use music um, to create a moment where people can be. Um, can encounter the presence of God and respond to the revelation of Jesus, you know, through song. And it's a beautiful thing. And music, how I, I, I say it often on stage, because I think it's so cool that um, music is one of those things that has been there since like almost the beginning of time, yeah. but it's something we've never needed. But it's just like a gift God has given us to express ourselves. And also it's like a very communal thing. There's nothing else like in such a physical, real way, but also a spiritual way that gets like the whole church together a whole body, a whole family of uh, in a house of worship together, like music. If you think we're on the same rhythm, yeah. singing the same words at the same time, same melodies, same truth, same thoughts, same lyrics, 
Every, it's like such a picture of unity. Mm-hmm. And when it, and when it's it's a unified thing of like we're worshiping God and lifting up the name of Jesus, it's kind of a picture of what the church does on a bigger scale outside mm-hmm. of the walls of the church. Mm-hmm. So all that being said, like you're there to serve that moment, um, to create that moment of unity where the church comes together, the family of God can come and celebrate what God is doing mm-hmm. in the community. And also um, pray for God to move in the community. You know, there's, ble- there's praise, like, blessed be your name. And it's also, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. There's prayers you can pray to and in, in, in worship too. So ultimately, to get to your question um, of, like, how, how do I think about that as far as coming into, um, you know, I, like you said, I have, I don't know, 100 songs on records now that I could come in and play. But, but, you know, I'll come into some conferences or some situations, maybe even here at Linger, um, and just think, like, the prayer is, God, like, what is your vision for this for this day, for this moment, for this event? What's your vision for that, and how do I come alongside of it? You know, yeah. that's, a, that's a prayer that internally I pray often. Like, yeah. what is your vision? When I know what your vision is for the world. It's to, for your kingdom to be here mm-hmm. and to be spread. But, and how does that vision play out today? And how do I come alongside of that? And... And sometimes that's in planning, and other times that's in the moment. You know, it's like maybe I planned, like, I'm going to tell a story about how I wrote this song, where this came from, and then it just, like, well, I started the first song, and there's just this spirit. I just tell, like, in the room there's this moment. There's a yearning for God's presence, or there's just people are hungry to just just say, I love you to Jesus, you know? And so, okay, out goes the story. Out goes the artist moment, and in comes, like, Man, I, I I talked to the worship leader earlier, and they said that this song or that song is just working in this church. So yeah. we're just gonna we're that's that's what needs to happen right now. Yeah. And so that's again, like I think it's coming into any situation. Um, you know, not saying like how can I have how, how can I get my band to sound as cool as Hillsong United, yeah. or you know how do I get to sing as high as Shane Bernard or anything? You know, mm-hmm. it's not like how do I get there. It's more like how do I come in and serve this moment? And I'm talking a really long time. No, I and I think that I mean that speaks really well into just the conversation of uh, God they want they want me to do hymns they just won't stop saying God we just need more hymns or maybe you, you all you do is hymns and they're like God can you guys just please get with the mm-hmm. you know the new wave here and uh, that just speaks to that conversation of like golly come together like don't be scared to just come together as a team and go Lord what would you have like what's the median age of our church let's do the math yeah. You know, is it 65 or is it 35? And maybe they would like this style of music. Maybe that would that would kind of help them to carve out the lyric would come and they would hear it better if we just carved it out and we, you know, if we, uh, you know, dropped the electric and had an extra keys player or, you know, I mean, it's just like holding loosely to say like, Lord, how can we serve these folks? I mean, maybe we need to be mostly hymns and add you know, one um, contemporary worship, yeah. worship Phil Welcome song per month instead of per week. Or maybe we need to start adding two hymns, you know, whatever that is of holding loosely. And I just think you've really modeled that well. I mean, mm-hmm. every time I'm with you, um, we've done like a, a, lots of tours with Phil. We have done a and, lot. Uh, and this conference, he's been here um, every year. We've done it but one. And I'm always just taken back by, uh, you know, how many just normal worship songs happen. Mm-hmm. And then honestly, like the response of people that, well, that was just such a blessing because they knew those songs, you know, and they could they could fit into that language and they could actually pray with you in that moment instead yeah. of. Um, I mean, there is a place to share. I mean, I love. Oh, I mean, it's a I massive mean, place for you it. You know, and that and that is just, it's a beautiful thing. But just how you have held loosely to that and um, and uh, so I I appreciate that. That's cool. Yeah, even to just one more like kind of ending thought. If, I don't know if we're ending right now, but if yeah. we're at ending. Uh, even speaking to, uh, I think if there's one thing I could tell my like 21, I'm 33 now, so, um, but I've been doing this for almost 20 years, started leading worship when I was 14 in high school, uh, but it's something I could tell my 14 year old self, 14 year old self, and even if you're a 50 year old self, but you think like, well, I don't have records out, I don't, mm-hmm. I'm not a songwriter, like, um, sometimes I, I get like, even especially in your own church, like taking just that place of authority and like God given, like God has given you this place to pastor almost the heart of the church, really the heart of the church into a place of deeper intimacy with him as a worship leader. And even speaking to like, man, but my church, all they do is do hymns, you know, or all they do is this or that. It's like, it's such a, what a cool honor and responsibility. And it's something, there's been a shift between the whole team at Harvest where I lead. There's been a real shift from the, from the bottom, from the top to the bottom on the leadership of like really 
trying to get away from over slicking up the whole thing and just like, hey, we, we just want to be after the presence of God. And that's been a real thing we've been chasing after. But to implement that, like we as worship leaders have just taken on a bigger role of pastoring, you know, so to speak, of like, like, hey, we sing Come Thou Found of every blessing. We got through the whole hymn. Say if your church does hymns, you know, and to my heart to sing I praise. You know, and it's, and it's like, man, Lord, we want to sing your praise because you're so good. And even talking to the audience, like talking to the congregation, like, and there's this, there's a new song I just heard, and, and it just talks about his goodness, and it just praise him for his goodness. And it's like, and we just sing about that. And come, like, even we are so prone to wander, but his grace still finds us. And it goes like this. You are good, good, oh, you never let, you never let, you know, go into it. It's like, if we sing that together, just, and we'll just sing it and come to that fountain, sing it. You know, it's just, it's a part, it, I think it's a cool, like, you guys, little by little, can, if you feel like maybe a church is, is here and, and it hasn't continued towards the vision that maybe you had a year ago or something, yep. you can, man, pastor it into that situation. Yeah. It's like, That's super so, good. so exciting. Yeah. That responsibility and um, honors is kind of, there for the taking, you know. It's amazing. 